डॉक्टर शंकर रामचंद्रन को अनुरोध कर रूराल हेल्थ प्रारंभिक अभिभाषण रखिए गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी एच पर रूरल सेक्टर इज कंसर्न ऑल ऑफ यू नो प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्योर सो वी हैव टू वर्क मोर ऑन द प्रिवेंटिव एस्पेक्ट देन द क्योर एस्पेक्ट दो क्योर एस्पेक्ट इज इंपोर्टेंट आई एम ए मेडिसिन स्पेशलिस्ट एंड आवर एम इज टू क्योर द सफर द थिंग इज दैट सपोज ए पेसेंट इज कमिंग टू द हॉस्पिटल विथ लूज मोशंस सिंपल थिंग लूज मोशन डायरिया वी विल ओनली गिव the drugs and ors after that the patient will recover but still again that patient will come to the hospital with the same problem why the problem is that prevention we have not make him or her understood clearly that it is a water most of the communicable disease are water borne about 70% communicable disease are due to water uh, good I mean, bad water hygiene so we have to educate the people about how to take care of the uh, water sanitation take care of the food sanitation different there are so many different aspects so the thing is that we, we must emphasize on the prevention aspect second thing screening very very important as per rural uh, health is concerned there are so many people about 10 to 15 patients in our vinsar in medicine department about 10 to 15 patients daily on daily basis coming with liver cirrhosis stroke snake bite in different cases so important thing is that the main cause of stroke that we have uh, published a paper that hypertension and diabetes these are two most important uh, etiology behind the stroke so we have to if the most of the people are unaware unaware that they are uh, blood pressure uh, status or they are sugar status they are not measuring blood pressure at all they are not measuring sugar so at least we should go for the screening in the rural way uh, i have started a program that is called uh, uh, i have started a one rupee click along with a one uh, program it's your right to know your blood pressure and sugar so if we give a simple a glucometer and blood pressure measuring instrument some speedometer to a very very setup if it is not possible we can give because there is there is shortage of technical person so we can give digital digital glucometer and digital uh, blood pressure measuring instruments so they can at least measure their blood pressure so that they can know that what is their blood pressure what is their uh, sugar ultimately the patient will succumb to die due to cerebrovascular accident or due to coronary artery disease so this is the problem so simple thing we have to encourage the people to screen themselves for sugar and blood pressure so i think a lot of work has been done by the central government as well as state government regarding the even ngos also playing important role in uh, uh, educating the people about the importance of measurement of blood pressure sugar everything third thing many of the people are coming i have uh, seen many of the people are coming who are having snake bite or dog bite delayed of course dog bite we have no uh, if the patient was having uh, rabies we cannot uh, survive get them survive but if the patient is bitten by snake or uh, or dog rabies dog so if there will be awareness asp is available in psc csc level but we are hesitating even with the physicians only refer it to the higher center but we know that the time is a important factor even a delay in half an hour minutes can endanger the life of the patient so at least we should take the risks i i do not uh, i do not uh, compel anybody that you uh, take the risks and admit the patient at least we can give uh, asp one vial or uh, five vial or 10 vial we can give the asp so that the patient can be transported to the nearest healthcare center and the life of the patient can be saved similarly organophosphorus poisoning is coming every patient every doctor is referring to the higher center only they are doing gastric lavage but the thing is okay. that 
we do not know the indication, we do not know the contraindication of my uh, uh, gastric lab, even paraquat poisoning. I have, hard, I have worked hard for the paraquat banning, but still then it is not banned. It is very unfortunate. About almost all patients are dying due to paraquat poisoning. So my thing is that in the periphery level, what they are doing, they are doing gastric lavage. But all of you know that uh, paraquat is a corrosive poison. So it should be prohibited. But still then, uh, I know that every physician knows it, but practically it is impossible. 